Probably not the fastest thing in the world, but it runs. Faster than you can shovel. <laughs> yeah. It's a group project. Well, this is not going well. It's just kind of science, right? Or is that math? Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. All right, well, it's been a hot minute since we've been working on this, but we did end up getting someone to figure out the motor, to get it to turn the right direction. And I've been working this morning and this afternoon. It's early afternoon. Getting a bracket on it, getting it squared up. It's nothing perfect, but getting it on there so we can use this roller one of these days. So, yeah, just finally remembered I should probably grab a camera and show you that. We actually do finish projects occasionally. It may take four to six months, but we'll get to it. Well, that's off for now. Let's see if they wired the motor up right or wired the switch backwards. Nope, I must have swore. Motor. <laughs> Are we ready? We're not really sure what's going to happen, but we're about to find out. That's it? I was like, what? This is boring. It's a little open for now. <laughs> we grabbed some peas. Right now, can we please get it out of the shop? <laughs> oh, I just gotta put the guard back on. It runs. It runs. Probably not the fastest thing in the world, but it runs. Faster than you can shovel. <laughs> yeah. It's a group project. Dad turns it on. <laughs> Tim dumps the peas into that video. We got barley now. It didn't even touch it. Did nope, it? didn't touch him. <laughs> oh, here, I'll send more beans too. Well, well you gotta pick that barley out of there first. All right, later. <laughs> <laughs> Spraying or spreading yesterday or today. And just look at the trees. 35 mile an hour wind today. Kind of protected here in the yard, but man, it is ripping outside the yard. So we're in the shop. I did get a I didn't video of it yesterday, but we did get the muffler tore apart the rest of the way. We got it taken off in the field the other day. And we just took and put the, the stack off the muffler on the side where it would go into the muffler on the bottom and just kick it out the side for now. Muffler for that thing from Aiko, 864 bucks, something like that. You can get one for a Mac that looks very similar, same dimensions, for 160 Unbelievable. What else was nuts? Oh, that oil tank on there, that plate rubbed, uh, rubbed in there and actually got hot enough that it melted a little hole in the top. 5200 bucks for an oil tank. So, Dad got it all gooped up with some, oh, I remember what he used, it's here somewhere. Gas tank, silicone, sealant, caulking, whatever you want to call it. And put a piece of plastic over that, screwed it down. It'll work for now. So, today, came around and picked up our man lift. I need some work, changing oil in the Maverick. Just chop stuff where it's not blowing dirt in your eyes. Well, this is not going well. You do have a funnel there to catch it, but it's just too much. Oil <laughs> coming out of there. Oh, that's what dirt's for. Soak up floor spills, because we're too cheap to buy floor dry. Well, I changed the oil filter, and it's just in that cap right there. Just an O-ring in there that you gotta take off and replace that, drop the new filter in, tighten that back down, and then, Pulled the dipstick out already. Got the funnel in there, but that's not gonna really work. Way down in there is the threads for the dipstick. So I'm gonna pull off some shrouds here or these intakes for the intake and exit of the cooler lines for the belts on the clutch. 
Well, this is a field that we planted a quinoa. And for some reason, it did not grow. We, we are baffled. We don't know what happened, why it didn't grow. So it got reseeded to spring wheat. And then the wind blew yesterday and the day before. And look at what it did to the ground. It's just wind whipped, but there's a few little wheat kernels or wheat plants coming out. I figured for sure we're gonna have to reseed this, but by the looks of it, we're gonna be all right. We didn't completely blow the seed out of the ground. More coming there, there. So there we go. First field check of the morning. Spring wheat's coming up on this field. Um, yeah, back to the quinoa. I, the chemical records from the field were good with what they knew was fine. The ground was wet. Just everything was there to make the crop grow. It just didn't come up. And then we did a germ test with the seed. It grew too. It's brought in the shop. So we were, we're just baffled because like we kind of want to grow the crop again. But why didn't work? Here's the uh, pipeline project update. This is three quarters of a mile from my mailbox, so they're getting close. Who knew there were so many uses for bale bed pickups, huh? I'm rolling, I think that's four inch black plastic pipe, water pipe. And then what do we all got here? Excavator. Backhoe. Bunch of fun going on here. Digging, digging out, starting on the other, either sides of the roads. They've been boring all the bigger roads. And this is what I am excited to see when it gets closer to our yard. They've got this big old ripper. Big old boot in there. Basically it's the same thing as like what Randy uses on Zach's channel for putting uh, tile line in. They're looking nice on these peas. They look good and healthy. There's the disc drill, seven and a half inch space, and then this way we got 12 inch space. It'll be real interesting to see how those all compare come harvest time. Not quite ready to spray yet. They could be, but there's really not a lot of grasses yet, so we'll give it another week and, well, we'll probably check them on Monday. It's already Thursday. So looking at these peas, see these tentacles, how they grab each other hold on to each other, hold each other up, because they're like, the single pea plant will just fall over. So they all kind of need the whole field to hold them together. Grabbing the last year's stubble, like there. Pretty cool plant. Um, these will just completely cover the ground, be completely all one, bush together, as long as we get enough moisture. That's maybe something that we, I don't know, the 10 inch disc drills, or even a 10 inch hoe drill versus a 12 inch hoe drill probably has a little advantage there. Eventually these will grab each other on a 12 inch space. Here is a field that was hay, and there's a creek here that divides this little, I don't know what it is, eight acres off from the rest of the hay field. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get moved over into here. So we pre-sprayed it, planning on seeding it next year, but when we came around the disc drill past here, we had to reseed some an 80 that we had some air tank issues with. We're gonna go ahead and seed it this with a disc drill. And it looks pretty good. I like it. I wonder if dad thought about spraying it when he was here today. Could have got that alfalfa, but wind blowing this direction towards the mustard probably wouldn't have worked real well. But no, I'm just really happy with the stand of this saw it with that disc drill. Take a little look at the mustard quick. Well, since we are caught up with spraying for now, we might as well process this corn. Get it mixed up with the pea screenings and some barley for the butcher cows. So I got this really cool adapter, a five gallon bucket with the bottom cut out of it for a little funnel. Works great. Ran some through last night. Time to run through some more.
right, so we're taking we're taking the chickpea screenings out of the feed bin that we've been seeding. We haven't had anything else really mixed with it. There's a tiny bit of corn in there from last year, two years ago, I guess now in there yet. And a little bit of grain screening. So we're gonna get that on that truck. We got the corn in the very front of that hopper, put the peas in the back and the chickpeas and whatever else we got around here. We also got some in another bin over here to get used up. But we gotta get the super bees out because we gotta run it back and forth, get it all mixed up, try and get it consistent as we can. If you blow it into a truck, it should stack up different. And then when it comes out, the top comes out first and it cones down. It's just kind of science, right? Is that math? Saturday. Don't forget, farm hard, pray harder, and we'll see you next video.